OECD addresses the issue at three levels, really. Uh, the first level has to do with our whole uh, spectrum of work on uh, uh, how is life, where we try to capture what matters for people's lives. In other words, we want to observe uh, things that go beyond the big aggregates like GDP. We look at household income, we look at jobs, we look at health, education and trace this. And we just released a new report uh, that's called How is Life 2013. So that tries to capture how are our lives evolving now and here. The second level where we're looking at these issues is at a level uh, where we try to analyze uh, how the economy interacts with the environment. This is our work on green growth. And here we're trying to identify those areas where societies can progress, both in terms of economic growth and income, but also in terms of <coughs> environmental uh, uh, support. And the third level that we're looking at is uh, really uh, can we sustain these things over time? We can look at how we're doing now, but the real question is, will it be possible to pass on these things to future generations? And here we're looking at uh, really a different stocks of assets that we'd like to preserve one way or another, or another for our children. We try to identify uh, those areas of life that matter for people. We make a distinction between the material component, and here you would find things like household income, you would find things like jobs, you would find things like housing. And uh, we also extend uh, this to what we call the quality of life. So here you find health, education, security, social relations, and a few others. Um, we find that uh, looking at these multiple dimensions, uh, you capture much better what matters for people than looking at one single big aggregator called uh, uh, GDP per capita. We're doing two things. In the uh, work that we publish and our How's Life publication, you will uh, find the individual components discussed and described across countries, but there will not be a single aggregate measure. measure. However, in order to communicate well on these, uh, on these uh, areas, we have, uh, we have developed a web tool that is called uh, Your Better Life Index, where every individual can link up to the OECD website and put his or her personal weights to each of these, uh, each of these uh, areas that matter for people's lives and then observe how the uh, ranking between OECD countries shapes up with that uh, particular preference. This is the so-called Better Life Index and you can again find it easily on the OECD website. It is very much a, a pragmatic uh, uh, approach. Uh, we actually don't have a very strong views on this and uh, uh, a little while ago we published a handbook where we discussed the pros and cons of, of aggregating across uh, dimensions. But it is uh, the fact that it is hard to get uh, agreement on the relative importance of say health versus income or education or personal security. Then it depends very much on the country on your personal uh, preferences and so it is somewhat easier for the OECD to leave this to everyone's appreciation rather than to come up with a single way of uh, um, uh, aggregating across dimensions. We try to measure uh, whether our economies are becoming more environmentally efficient on the one hand and uh, whether the environment and environmental policies can uh, uh, contribute to economic growth and income. Uh, those are two important pillars of the work on green growth. And on the measurement side, uh, we are developing uh, indicators here that would combine observations concerning environmental pressure like CO2 emissions or uh, water usage with uh, economic information like uh, uh, output, uh, production, uh, employment. 
I think the, the very fundamental idea for measuring sustainability is to reason in terms of assets or stocks that we have. Uh, almost by definition, sustainability is about passing on assets to future generations. Now one can discuss which assets that should be, one can discuss how they should be measured in detail, but somehow it always comes back uh, to observing, measuring, uh, defining policies around the fact that we'd like to pass on capital to our children. The typical areas that we're looking at are, of course, uh, physical capital uh, that we use in production, but also, importantly, environmental capital. Uh, we are also looking at uh, human capital, which is the uh, sum of education efforts and skill uh, skilling efforts. And uh, increasingly, we are also looking at social capital. How do societies hang together? What is important for people in their lives is also things like social relations. Can they count on friends? Uh, can they, uh, do they have uh, interactions? Uh, and that is a capital that one wants to preserve uh, and it is sometimes uh, overlooked. So along those lines, uh, we try to measure and we try to express policies. Uh, for the OECD, I think the, the, the two avenues that we follow, the first one is we try to convey the message to policymakers that uh, policy making is a multi-dimensional effort. Uh, it is uh, probably no longer true that it is enough to focus on one particular policy target like uh, uh, GDP growth or even employment only. Uh, you'd like to keep those things together with other dimensions along the lines I mentioned before, health and education and security. Uh, now, this is easier said than done, of course, but the first step is to recognize this multidimensionality. Um, on a practical scale, and this is the second avenue that we are following, we are trying to bring those ideas into the analytical and policy uh, advice work that the OECD delivers. Uh, for example, uh, the OECD regularly carries out uh, economic surveys of its member countries. And increasingly, uh, this uh, aspect of multidimensionality is brought into these economic surveys. So we try to mainstream some of these ideas into our analytical work, and we hope that it will be picked up uh, in future uh, policy debates.